Joanne, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm okay. Um, yeah, I'm okay. I just wanted to, to come in and talk to you today about a new issue that, that I had come up with my husband. And basically, it seems like every time I, I try and plan... Excuse me. Every, yeah, go ahead. Um, every time I, I try and plan like time together between the two of us, he'll go off and do something else that you know is just totally irrelevant. Like, he'll go and play his games or he'll start texting with a friend, or he'll start watching a movie. And it's gotten to the point where I really am starting to question, does he value our time together? Especially if he's just engaging in all these tasks that are completely... Oh, excuse uh, me just a second, Jim. Okay. It's my phone. Okay, sure. Oh my gosh, I have a text message. Yeah, I... Um, just, just one second. Okay, yeah, I was just right in the middle of telling you that story, but I guess that can wait. That's really important. Well, thanks. I'll, I'll just leave my phone here just in case another one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I should. Well, maybe I shouldn't leave it here. Maybe I should kind of put it here. Okay. No, but actually, you know, I think I really, I might be. I, I'm expecting an important call from my daughter, so I okay. doubt that it'll come in while we're talking, but just in case. You know. Okay. Well, yeah. Was this a good time to schedule my appointment with you? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, I'm I'm having issues with him with us being able to connect in our free time and. And it seems like he's just not prioritizing that, and I don't really know what to do about this. Are you kind of warm? Um, I, I am a little warm, hot. but yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, I'm be comfortable. Yeah. Do you want to take your jacket off or anything? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Um, I should really try to turn down this heat, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. But it's okay. Yeah. Joanne, hi. How are you? I'm okay. I, I, I'm okay. I've been better. I'm, I'm coming in with a, a new issue today between my husband and I that I just really wanted to talk to you about. So basically every time I try and schedule some, some time together with him, just some, some quality time, he always manages to prioritize something else. So he'll get on his cell phone, he'll start um, texting with a friend or start gaming or start watching a movie. And it's like I can't get the time in that I need with him to really connect. And it's become the source of frustration for me. Oh, that, that must be so frustrating, Joanne. And yeah, in fact, you said that, and I just remembered my cell phone is here. I want to put it away because I don't want it to interrupt us. Sure. I'm really sorry that it was there, especially yeah. what you said about your husband. I want to make sure that I don't do the same thing. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, this. I mean, this is a really important issue for me that... It's just, I'm realizing more and more how much it is a problem in our relationship that we can't even make the time to spend together. You know, just engaging in something together. Of course, of course. Yeah. Joanne, how are you? I'm okay. I've been a little bit better. Um, I am still... Do you mean like a lot better or just a little bit better or... Huge amount better, or just not really that much better, or what do you mean better? Better, I would say just better, better. I can't quite rate it, but maybe maybe a little bit better, a little bit. Like just a little bit, or like a lot, a little bit, or a little, little bit. <laughs> well, I would say a a little, little bit. If I had to say between all of those options, okay. yeah, a little, little bit. If I if I had to choose. But in any case, I, I am doing better, which I think is good. Um, so my boyfriend has been actually trying to make more time for the two of us together. Um, this last week, he um, had something planned with a friend, and I mentioned to him that I needed some time with him, and he then canceled his plans with that friend, and we were able to have a nice dinner together. So did he cancel the plans right away, or did he cancel the plans? Like, did you have to talk to him about it a lot, or was it really hard to, to, to get him to respond, or how did you handle that, or, or you know, what did you, did you tell him how good you felt after that? Um, uh, so to answer the first part of that, um, which I'm having trouble remembering now. Joanne, how are you? Well, I'm doing better. I would say better this week. I um, I had uh, a thing come up with my husband where I actually talked to him um, about this need that I have to spend more time with him, 
and he ended up uh, canceling plans with a friend and we had a great dinner together and we had a nice conversation. It was, it was really, really, really nice. How did you feel after that experience with him? I felt so much more connected with him, especially with the fact that I voiced, you know, what I needed from him and he then responded and I'm not sure if he was really aware of that. So I felt just this whole weight lifted off of me. It was really great. How do you think he felt about it? Um, I actually think he he showed that he valued what I what I had to say, and I think he also felt really good about that time we spent connecting with each other. I think he he thought it was a really positive thing. Did the two of you talk about it after? Uh, we definitely did talk about it um, a little bit. I think we're still kind of moving toward that place where we can be open with each other, but this was a really good first step. In, in being open with our communication. Do you think there's anything you can do to encourage this to happen again in the future? I think so. I think if I, you know, next time I'm feeling this way, I could definitely talk to him again and just let him know my needs and let him know I'm, I'm wanting to spend some time with you. Can you make some time in your schedule and, and we can have, you know, a nice activity or dinner together or watch a movie. So yeah. Hey, Dr. Lampson. How's your week been, Jan? Well, this week has been kind of crappy, to, to put it that way. It hasn't been that, that great of a week. Well, it sounds like you're feeling pretty good, Jan. No, I'm not. It was a crappy week, and I just I feel completely worn out. I feel totally just spent and exhausted. No, it wasn't. So good. you're feeling kind of hopeful about the week? No, I don't feel hopeful. Not no. I I feel like things are still moving in the same old pattern that they always have and I'm actually feeling more hopeless this week than I have in the last few weeks. So you're you sound a little happy to me about this week. No, I, I don't know where you're hearing that in my voice. I I'm definitely not not happy at all. I'm very unhappy in fact. I I don't think there's any kind of happiness that that I have in my life from, from the last few weeks. It's just been really rough for me. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lampson. I, um, you know, to be totally honest, I'm not feeling that great this week. I'm just feeling a little bit run down and a little bit kind of spent and low in energy. Not so good. So it sounds like you're having a really hard week and you're not feeling very positive this week. Yeah, yeah, I would say that that pretty much sums it up. I, I don't feel that positive. I feel like I'm just repeating the same kind of old patterns as before and I'm having a hard time finding a way out or seeing, seeing a way out of this. You sound a little bit frustrated and maybe discouraged. Is, is that right? Yeah, I definitely I feel discouraged. I feel really, really discouraged um, about kind of about what the future holds and I feel even discouraged about my day-to-day -day life, like I'm not seeing the results of everything that I'm putting in and I'm not seeing kind of the, the benefit of, of everything I'm working on. Joanne, it's good to see you. How are you? You know, I've been better. I've definitely been better. Um, I just found out some really hard news and, you know, basically my my dog is um, about to die and the vet said that she only has a couple of weeks left to live so I really don't know what else to say other than like this is terrible I you know <laughs> I don't know what to say Joanne when, when you talk about something serious don't laugh I mean it, it's just so confusing to me when you laugh you really need you really need to just be serious if you're serious well, I feel like I am being serious. I mean, this really is a serious situation, and I don't but know. But you just laughed. Did, didn't you know you just laughed about your dog? Well, no, I didn't really. I was just venting. I was just telling you my feelings, and I didn't really notice. No. Laughter? No. Well, I know you laughed, Jimmy, and I saw it. I saw the laugh. So I just want you to be, when you talk about something serious, I just want you to be serious and not... Confuse me with the laugh. Yeah, but I mean, why why would I laugh when I'm talking about my dog dying? Well, I, this I don't is know. really sad. I have no idea. That's that's why I'm telling you. 
it's really confusing. I don't know why you'd laugh. Yeah, I no, I didn't mean to laugh at all. If I did, I don't think I did. But in either case, this is really hard for me. It's really sad. It's I'm having a really difficult time with this. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Yeah, I've I've definitely been better. It's. It's not a great week for me. I just found out some really terrible news about my pet, and um, <laughs> this is terrible. I found out that she has only um, a couple weeks left to live, and <laughs> it's like I don't even know what to do with this. She's She's got this um, chronic condition, and basically I'm about to lose her. Joanne, I'm really sorry to hear about your pet. That is so hard. I, I understand that, because I love animals too. But I'm, I'm noticing something about the way you're telling me that, mm -hmm. that I noticed that you're telling me something really sad, but at the same time, you have a little bit of a smile on your face. And I'm wondering if you're aware that that's happening. No, no, I really wasn't aware that I had a smile on my face as I was telling you that. It really is painful for me. Well, sometimes people do that because it's painful and they've if they put a smile on their faces, it's like it doesn't hurt as much. Like the smile keeps you from really sinking into the feeling because if you sink into the feeling, you really feel the pain. Hmm. So I don't know if you'd be willing to do this or not, Joanne, but I'm wondering if you might be willing to try telling me about it and consciously think about not smiling and being serious with your expression as you tell me the sad story. You might feel more feelings if you do that. Yeah, I, I think I could try that. I think I could. So, I'm feeling really sad that um, I only have a couple weeks left with my dog, and she is really, really important to me. She's just a member of my family, and I don't know what I'm going to do without her. I'm not, I'm not ready for this news. Well, I hear the pain, Jillian. I really hear a lot of pain in your voice, and I can tell by your expression that you feel really sad. And this time, I really, really feel it. So thank you. Hello, Shetra. How are you? Um, uh, not doing so good, actually. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, well, my, uh, my boyfriend, who I've been with for a long time, I caught him cheating, and yeah, so I'm, I'm really, it just happened and I'm kind of torn and I don't know what to do because I've been with him for so long that I, I can't imagine my life without him, but I'm, but he's, you know, he's cheated on me, so I... Wow. So what you're telling me is that your boyfriend cheated on you and that you, you're thinking about how you're going to go on and maybe that you might find someone else? Uh, no, I mean, maybe I, sh maybe I should, if that's what you're saying, but I, I feel like I can't imagine going on without him. Like, I can't imagine being with anyone else, even though he's done this horrible thing, like, I know I should leave him, but I feel like I can't. So, no. So it sounds like you're, you're really ready to leave him and that, you know, <sighs> You know there's a lot of guys out there, so you're not, it's not so bad. No, I mean, maybe, maybe that's how I should be thinking, but no, I'm really, I'm kind of, I'm stuck the opposite way, really. Like, I want to stay with him, and I, I, I can't imagine thinking about anyone else. So when you try to imagine thinking about somebody else, mm -hmm. you keep thinking about your boyfriend? I, yeah, I can only think about my boyfriend. I, I don't try and think about anyone else, I mean... Even though he's just cheated on me, and my friend is telling me, you know, like there are a lot of fish in the sea, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't feel that way. So, I'm not even trying to imagine being without him. Maybe I should be, but I, I can't. So, imagining being without him is something that you're getting better at. It sounds like. I mean, no, I mean, I haven't really tried that at all. So I, maybe I, maybe I should. I may, I feel like maybe you're telling me that I should, should, should try and imagine my life without him. I, but no, I, I can't. I, I don't do that. Shaitra, how are you? It's good to see you. Uh, 
it's good to see you too. I'm not not doing very well right now, actually. Um, I I just found out that my my boyfriend, who I've been with for a really long time, is uh, cheating on me. Oh, I'm really yeah. sorry, Shadrach. Thank it you. It sounds like you're having a hard time because your boyfriend has not been faithful. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, my friends are telling me that I I should leave him. And maybe I think, maybe I should, but I can't imagine doing that. Like, I can't imagine my life without him, even though I know he's done this horrible thing. So I'm really, I don't know where I am. So you're really struggling because you're, you're listening to your friends say that you should kind of move on, but you are really connected to him still, and yeah. you can't imagine living without him. Yeah, exactly. There's that connection that we've had for so long, and that's, that's still real to me. So the connection with him is a huge part of your life. And yeah. you're really trying to listen to what people are encouraging you to do, but it sounds like it's just really hard. You feel really stuck. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Like, I know I should be doing, I feel like I should be doing what they say. Like, that makes sense in real life. But in my life, I, I can't. Yeah. Hi, Shaytra. How Hi. are you today? It's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you too. Um, I'm actually I'm actually not doing very well at all. Um, I just found out that my my boyfriend's been cheating on me, and I'm having a really difficult time dealing with that. Oh, Shaytra, you know I know exactly what you're talking about. That is yeah. so hard. I mean, a year ago I had a boyfriend who cheated on me, oh. and I found out because my friend went to a party and yeah. he was there with another woman. And so she came back and called me immediately and told me that she saw him. And it was just, it was the worst possible situation. I just, I get that. I, I really know what that's like. Yeah, that's, it's really hard. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. But, but yeah. It's difficult. So, yeah, so what else happened for you? Uh, well, um, yeah. Well, my, yeah, I actually caught them together. My my boyfriend and a woman that he works with, actually, um, when I went to surprise him at his apartment, and wow. they see, were for, together. see, for me, it was a little different because it wasn't a woman that yeah. my boyfriend worked with. It was, oh. um, it was like a, just a friend at this party, and it was at a right. party, so it wasn't quite, you know, it wasn't like the same. But right, not the same. Um, you know, I, I, what I did was I just I went right over to his place and just confronted him and. I was just so mad at him. I just, I just told him, I just can't be with him anymore. Yeah. I just, I just can't deal with this kind of thing. And this actually wasn't the first time he had done that. I mean, I'd actually oh. Oh. forgiven him two times wow. before because he cheated on me twice before. Yeah. This was the third time. I just said after three times, wow. that's you know three strikes you're out kind of thing. I was just done. Sure. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, really, was this like the first time for you, or uh, it happened three I mean, times like with me? It's, it's that I know of. It's the first. I mean, it's the first time I've caught him. I now I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe this has been going on for a while. Yeah, well, I, I hadn't yeah. even thought of that. But yeah, maybe it's been going on for a while, like with you. I don't know. Wow. No, I. I don't even know what to what to think now. I'm sorry about what happened with you, though. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Shaitra, how are you? It's so good to see you. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not doing very well at all. I've actually got a lot going on. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, I just found out that my boyfriend has been cheating on me. And I actually caught him and a woman he works with at his apartment when I went to surprise him. And so I found them together. And I just, I can't really get over that. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh, I can completely understand why that would be really difficult. Yeah. So then what happened after that? Well, I mean, so I surprise him and I, I see them together. And I, I think it was just an overload. I just left. I didn't stay at all to talk to him. And of course, he tried to talk to me, kind of ran out. But he didn't follow me all the way, probably because the other woman was there. But I just, mm -hmm. I haven't answered any of his phone calls or his texts since then. It's been a few days and I just, I can't stop thinking about it. That's a really hard situation, Shaitra. Yeah. I want you to know I've experienced the same thing in my life, and yeah. I know it's a very, very hard situation. Yeah. 
but I want to help you get through it. Thank you. So tell me a little bit more about it. Okay. Yes, the last few days, I mean, I've been thinking about kind of how it might have happened, and I, I know we've been kind of drifting apart a little bit, and so I'm kind of wondering now, like, maybe I've just kind of allowed this thing to happen and, you know, not paid enough attention to him, and that's why that's why it happened. I mean, this is the first time that I know of, but I'm not really sure how long it's been going on. I don't have a lot of details because I don't want to talk to him. So I don't know what to do. Well, let, let's work on that together. Okay. I really want to help you figure okay. that out because I think it's normal to start to question yourself yeah. in a situation like this, even when you can see that the other person has done something really, really hurtful. Yeah. So let's work on that. That would be great. I'd like to do that, yeah. Okay. Shaitra, it's good to see you. How are you? Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm not doing very well. I'm actually having a really rough week. Um, my, my boyfriend, I found him cheating on me. I caught him cheating. And so I'm just having, I don't know, kind of like this over, I can't stop thinking about it. And I can't really function or do anything else but think about the fact that he cheated on me. And well, you know, Shaitra, cheating is not such a big deal. I mean, it really isn't. I feel like it's a big deal. I mean, we've been together a long time, and... Well, you know, but, I mean, I... I don't quite get why you're so upset about it. Uh, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's like, we've been together a long time. He's, I kind of thought we'd be together forever, and now he's with another woman, and... I mean, I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a really big deal. I mean, I just can't... Well, I mean, I see, I guess I can see your point. Yeah, I mean, I just can't stop thinking about it. I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I don't even know what I'm feeling. Actually, I can't even funk. I could barely get here today. I was just so, I didn't even want to get out of bed. But you know, Shaitra, I, I don't think it should affect you that much. I mean, you know? I get that it's it's a big deal to you, but yeah. not to the point you can't get out of bed or you couldn't even come. To well, therapy. I mean, I did come, but I yeah, just... you came. You're right, you came. But... <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's I've never experienced anything like this. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I get that, Shatra, but you know, I, I think you just got to move on. <sighs> I don't. It's a lot of fish in the sea. Yeah, I mean, there are, but I, I mean, I guess I just don't feel that way. Like that's why I came to you. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. And I just can't relate to those feelings. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No, I feel like this is, yeah, I can't stop feeling the way I'm feeling. Haven't you ever experienced anything like this or? No. You never had an emotion that you couldn't, like, stop feeling? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Hello, Shaitra. It's good to see you. How are you? Hi. Um, I'm, I'm not doing too good. I'm actually having a really rough week. Um, so I, I caught my boyfriend cheating on me, and this whole, the last few days have just been really overwhelming. I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm thinking. I, I barely made it here today. I'm just so overwhelmed. Oh, Shaitra, I'm so, so sorry. Thank I you. can see that that's really, really weighing heavily on you, yeah. and that's really painful. It is. It, it, yeah. I've never felt anything like this ever, and I think I just really don't know, I don't know what to do with it, you know? It's such a hard feeling. I, I think it's almost like your heart is being torn apart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just feel like I'm in pieces. I do. Oh, I, I, I can see. Yeah. I can see that. I can see how hard it is for you, and my heart just goes out to you. Thank you. And I want to help you through this, Shaitra. We can we can get through this. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. I knew like it was hard to come here, but I knew I just had to, to talk to someone about this. Like it's too big on my own. Oh, it is, Shaitra. I really want you to talk to me about it because it's too much pain. Thank you. Yeah. I think all of us go through something like this one time or another. Yeah. But it's so much better if you don't have to go through it alone. Yeah. It's so true. Thank you. Even just being able to to say it out loud to somebody and not, you know, and have them understand. It feels better. It doesn't, I don't know what to do with it, but it feels better. Yeah, so, I'm so glad. Thank you.
Chaitra, I'm so glad you could come in today. It's really good to see you. It's good to see you too. Um, I'm glad I came in actually because I'm I'm having a really rough week. I uh, I caught my boyfriend cheating on me, and so this last week I just don't know what to do with myself really. I can hardly get out of bed. I just have this flood of emotions. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Well, you know, one thing that works really well with emotions is if is exercise. So I think if you could exercise every day for mm -hmm. about 45 minutes, it would help you get more control over those oh, feelings. Wow. That might be a good place to start. 45 minutes? Yeah. That's a, that's a lot. I mean, I could see like, I don't know, I'm having a hard time even getting out of bed. I don't, I'd like to say I could do that, but I don't, I could see maybe a little bit. I don't think I can do that. Well, <clears throat> how about getting together with a friend or calling up someone who could come over to your place and hang out with you so you're not alone? I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, I can, I can maybe, maybe do that. I mean, it's not that easy I, for me to like share and call people up and like, it's just difficult to see anyone right now, really. Mm -hmm. A lot of our friends are mutual friends. I mean, maybe I could. Well, another thing I've heard, too, is that meditation is really good. So if, if you can sit and, and just meditate, be still for maybe 15 minutes a day, that, that, that can be really helpful when you're going through hard things. Yeah. Um, you know, developing a new interest. Oh. You know, do you ever go on Pinterest? <sighs> no, not, I mean, my mom does that. I, I'm not really familiar yeah, maybe your mom, ask your mom to show you Pinterest has got all these different things that you wow. can do and different hobbies and, you and know, I think, you know, if you could get interested in something, it might take your mind off it a little bit. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, hadn't, I hadn't thought of that. I mean, that's a big, that's a, uh, that's a lot, maybe. I don't know, I feel like I can't even, I can't even think hardly because I'm just so overwhelmed. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I just can't stop thinking about what happened. Well, you know, another thing that's really good is to get a journal mm -hmm. and then write in your journal every day um, the thoughts about yeah. the situation and how you're feeling and how you're doing. Yeah. And make sure you write for at least 15 to 20 minutes a day in this journal. Wow, every, every day? Well, you try to do it every day. Okay. Yeah, um, that's supposed to really help. And there's a there are a lot of good books. You know, I could recommend some books for you to read if if you'd okay. like. Okay, I guess so. I guess I could try maybe some of some of those or one of those things. Oh, you know, the, another idea is there's um, some online groups. Yeah, you might be able to join an online group. Oh. And could talk to some people or going through the same thing. Okay, like uh, oh. Like a group of people who were like have been cheated on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's online groups for everything. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure you could find one. You know. Yeah, I could maybe do that. I don't know how comfortable I'd feel disclosing all that. Maybe I don't know. I'll think about about that. Okay. It's a lot of options. Shaitra, it's so nice to see you. I'm so glad you could make it today. Thank you. I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm glad I came in. I'm really having a hard week. Uh, my boyfriend and I caught him cheating on me, and this whole week has just been like a roller coaster. I mean, I knew I should come in today, but I, I barely did. I'm just having a hard time like functioning. I don't know what to, to do with myself or my emotions. I can't think straight. Uh, I'm just kind of lost. You sound pretty traumatized, Shaitra. Yeah, it was, it was a really big thing. I don't know. I've never experienced anything like that before. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Well, you said a couple times now that you're not sure what to do, so I'm wondering if we could talk about that together and maybe come up with one or two things that you think might help you. Yeah, I think that would that would be really great. Yeah. I just just need to a get through this week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I need a little direction. Uh, it sounds like the, it's, you say it's even hard for you to get out of bed in the morning. Yeah. So is there anything you can think of that might help you in the morning so you'll feel like you can get up? Um, I mean, maybe. I I know that um, my mom sometimes, when I've had trouble before, would, like, call me or, or come over, you know? If it wouldn't, I could imagine, like, asking her to kind of, like, 
meet with me in the mornings maybe or she used to she's bring me coffee before when I've been sad and that's always made me feel better. Oh that's a great idea. I, really, that's a really good idea. I like and that. I know she wouldn't mind. So maybe that just to kind of give me something mm -hmm. to look forward to. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like one thing you could do would be have your mom come over and help you in yeah, the morning. Yeah. Which, that would make me feel Just until better. you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you can think of that might help? Well, I mean, I have I have a dog, and so I have to get out of bed to take him on walks. Oh. To let him, you know what I mean? Right, so I, right. I don't necessarily want to, but it does make me feel better to, to care for him. Because I, I love him a lot. Of course, I can't let him starve or, you know, not go to the bathroom. Right. So, I mean, that is one chance when I have to get out. But I've even found that kind of hard. Do you feel like you could take a short walk with the dog in the morning, even if it's just five minutes? Yeah, I could. I think so. It's It sounds silly, but it makes me feel good to, like, see how much he loves being outside. You know, it makes me a little, like, happier. So I, I could see that if I just had it in my mind. I can maybe do, like, five minutes. Because I think just being able to have just a tiny bit of exercise will yeah. help you. Okay. And getting outside a little bit, a little mm -hmm. fresh air would be really good. So it sounds like there's two things you could do. Have your mom come over mm -hmm. and then take your dog out for about five minutes every day. Yeah, that doesn't sound too big. Yeah, I think I could do that. Yeah, I think that would be enough. If you can just okay. do those two things yeah. this next week. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I feel, that feels good just even planning that out that I have something. Yeah, okay. Okay.